Hey Patrick. Hey, how's it going? Uh, so that's a good question. First investment I ever put money in would have been Chorus Entertainment. I get real estate or something that gives you monthly cash flow. I couldn't do real estate at the time. Like I was 18, 19, mm -hmm. and instead you can invest in dividend stocks. So I bought some dividend stocks. I just chose Chorus because I saw it every day on YTV mm -hmm. and they paid a pretty good dividend. So actually that was my first dividend investment. After about two years, I was getting about say $15 a month, which doesn't seem too awesome. But at the time I thought it was crazy because mm -hmm. how the story went was I didn't have enough money for lunch. And I was working in Quebec at the time. I checked my phone and I was like, oh, I got this email. And it said, oh, $15 are deposited to your account. <laughs> I was like, oh, cool. That's enough for food. When I checked my account, I realized it was from Chorus Entertainment. How old were you when you first invested in Chorus Entertainment? I must have been 18. Yeah. Eight. Next from that was I started investing into my own like small businesses. So I actually did quite a few things. This was just painting mm -hmm. and not even like a whole house. It was just literally... If you kind of take a look around like these homes, all we did was trims of windows, trims of a home, and then trims of a garage. So it wasn't even painting like the whole thing. I wanted to be a teacher and I kind of figured, okay, might as well start tutoring now. Yeah, I just kind of reinvested more into supplies, I took a little bit more courses on like public speaking. So I was actually already investing in my own, I guess, practice as a teacher before I even got into the faculty of education. What I did basically while I was in school was work at McDonald's also worked at party stuff selling costumes during October and then finally got a job at Lint where I kind of sold chocolate basically I just took the income that I had anytime I saved enough for say like $500 worth of stock mm -hmm. I would just invest that into uh, the stock market I started working at 15 and a half worked at McDonald's for about a full year got my first like tax uh, documents and I was like oh cool like I made nine grand I kept zero of that the first year and I kind of looked at my like financial documents and all my money was spent at McDonald's or at Cineplex or on video games. Yeah, 15 and a half to 16 was when I kind of learned, okay, like I probably got to figure this out um, or else things can get a little more difficult if I want to become an adult. So I got my first property at 24. That was the one that I house hacked. Mm -hmm. House hacking is when you buy a house using your first time home buyers, very low down payment of 5%. Yeah. You get a three bedroom house and essentially you live in one and you rent out the other two. By doing that, that kind of got me the ball rolling into becoming a landlord. I signed up for Teammate Real Estate, which is a coaching company in Winnipeg that would eventually hire me as a coach. Over the span of the pandemic, uh, the team and I probably bought over 100 homes cumulatively. I would highly, highly suggest that you just learn a sales skill right away. Basically jobs where I was not paid for my time whatsoever. Okay, I wasn't paid to just show up. I was paid to actually execute and close sales. If I didn't close any sales, you made no money. Yeah. And this basically taught me how to hunt for money. And now that skill is probably what's been allowing me to get paid daily instead of every two weeks or whenever my boss decides. Awesome. Thank you so much, Pat. See you next time. See ya. Bye.